Hello everyone, hope you're well. I know I might look slightly different. I'm back today with a haul video. I have got my hair done recently and I basically just wanted like a balayage style but it has gone way more warm than I sort of wanted after a wash so I am going back to fix it. Um, but you guys will have to tell me what you think, especially of these like front bits. Are we liking this or are we not liking this? I don't know. You guys will have to tell me down below. Um, but I am going to go and get it toned. Um, a bit more of an ashy colour because I think my hair just pulls really, really warm. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. I don't know, I'm still kind of getting used to it. Um, but I'm here today to film a Zara and Pretty Little Thing haul. I did some really good shopping and obviously I want to share it with you guys. So I'm probably going to start off with the Pretty Little Thing stuff and then I'm going to move on to the Zara stuff. And I got this top because I thought it would be really cute for like nights out. And it's just a stripey off the shoulder top but with long sleeves so at least you're keeping some part of your body warm and these are just great for like if you're going for drinks or you're not really sure what to wear or I know it sounds ridiculous but as a youtuber like you need like interesting clothes to wear on the top up like I love this top because it's interesting like it looks cool you know it's got a bit of something something and then I just wear like my hippie tie-dye trousers on the bottom when I'm filming but you guys will never know that until I tell you so yeah I just like tops like this especially like I said for filming for going for drinks and stuff um, and just generally this would be really cute as well in the summer so Pretty Little Thing is great for things like this then I got this and I know my style's a bit more like I don't, I'm not super girly but sometimes I have my little girly moments and I loved this dress I just thought it was really flattering and I love the concept and it's a genuine like meant to be off the shoulder shirt dress style dress I said dress like three times white and blue stripe but I don't know if you guys can see it genuinely is meant to have like an off the shoulder so here the shoulder is like cut out I would definitely show it to you guys better on the split screen but it just basically ties at the front just like a shirt and I don't know for like a more girly day um, I just thought it was really cute if you're going on Valentine's Day if you're going for a nice dinner this would look so so adorable like with cute jewelry and nice heels so definitely I feel like this is such a perfect Valentine's Day dress so um, yeah it's really cute this is just like a black little zip up like jacket cardigan type thing but it's got like a sport luxe vibe it's got that o-ring pull at the front you can wear it like zipped up and it's ruched at the front or you can wear it open like a little jacket like off the shoulder but that's how the model had it on and i thought it was really sweet again for days like today where i'm filming i just thought it'd be a bit something a bit different and the cuffs and the bottom are all like a bit more sporty luxe which is kind of cute so yeah, I don't know, I just really liked it and the material is really, really soft. But these are a bit more crazy. I haven't tried them on yet, so I'm a bit scared. But I love the colour of them and I'm just hoping they fit me right. But I don't know, I'm a bit sceptical. I will still link them down below so you can see what the model was like, what, what she looked like wearing them. Because I think she looked super cool in them. And it's these, like, I love the colour of them, combat style trousers. The cool thing about them is they go into like a super duper wide leg. Like, look at this wide leg. There you go. Um, I don't know if I will look completely ridiculous, they are quite crazy, but I just thought, okay, I'm going to try them and I don't know, we'll see whether or not I like them, but they are high-waisted as well, which I really, really like. I don't know, we'll see if I look like something out of a wannabe um, Tomb Raider or if I look cool in them. I don't have any grey dresses in my wardrobe, I don't know, I don't think I do, and I just thought this would be the perfect, perfect dress um, for my next night out, and it's this gorgeous, like, off the shoulder Kim K style dress you know that dress she wore which is like lace and then kind of off the shoulder and she had the wet look hair and she just looked like a goddess this is kind of that look of a dress but in a knitted form so it ruches at the front all over at the front and it has like a pull string thing at the bottom it will definitely look better on you guys but I'm not showing you guys my legs because I've got the worst worst fake tan Ever. like it's patchy it's gross it needs to come off but it's not coming off properly and um, I'm just gonna have you guys are gonna have to bear with me with the cutaways of this video but it was either have no cutaways or have rubbish cutaways so yeah there you go so I love this dress um, the sleeves are gorgeous as well because they kind of go like straight and then they poof out um, and I just think grey looks great on everyone like any colouring it just looks great you guys know I'm so into the Perspex heel thing but these are a little bit different and I will tell you guys why. Look at the side of them guys. They're so cool and they're like a really, really good height. 
especially for someone like me who at the moment I just feel like I'm getting so old like the other day at work like I just was like going crazy like I thought I saw something and then I didn't see it like I'm, I didn't, I'm losing my mind is what I'm trying to say and for someone who's losing their mind they need as low a heel as possible so they don't lose their head and these are great I love this kind of look as well like whatever this thing is going on here like this jelly mutation thing going on on the heel it's just really cute and I would say with these kind of heels definitely size up so I got these in a size 6 when I'm normally a 5 because your foot does tend to slide down and then you just look like you've got sausage feet so yeah definitely love these and um, I love pretty little things heels in general so do definitely go and have a look at those I also got these necklaces but I totally forgot to show you guys in the haul and again they're from Pretty Little Thing, not that one because that's the one my mum got me, excuse the fake tan, I told you guys it was bad, but how lovely are these, they're more like a choker style, I love these kind of coin things but it's more of like a choker, you guys need this, like look at how lovely that looks layered. I'm literally obsessed. Pretty Little Thing have the nicest jewellery. I don't know where my brain was at. I also totally forgot to show you guys this t-shirt. And it just says Pretty Little Thing on it. And it's just super cute. And I think it'll look really cool with that blazer um, that I got from Zara. I'll show you guys. And I can't get over these necklaces. I can't believe I forgot to show you guys them. Where is my brain at? So yeah. I'm not wearing a good bra. I'm wearing my bandeau bra because I just can't be bothered. But you'll get the general idea. Super duper cute. And in case you're wondering, my top is from Zara. Just a gorgeous like neck detail and then also a no sleeve and then little half sleeve top. And I legit, it was only like $12.99 and as soon as I saw it I was like, we're getting it. I'm wearing a bandeau bra with it, which I'll link down below. I didn't get it in this haul but I've got it from weekday that I absolutely love and it's just gorgeous. And if you're wondering, my necklace is from my mum. My mum got it for me from Iran because she went recently. And I just asked her to get me a gold name necklace. It was a bit of a palaver getting it, but we got there in the end. That's just my name in Iranian, in case you're wondering. Those of you who've watched me for years know I'm super duper loyal to my Topshop denim. The size I am, I just go in. If I see a new style, I know, okay, this is going to be the one. It's really easy. And Zara denim, I've always dabbled in it. And then I'm kind of always like, oh, I don't know if it fits right. I get a bit like, oh. And then I saw these and I was like, okay, I'm just going to give them a try. I saw them on the TRF site and I was like, okay, cool, we're going to give them a go. And they were only $25.99, guys, and they fit me like a dream. If you're normally a Topshop girl, give these a try if you're looking for a boyfriend denim, like a really true old school, like Levi style denim. But I've tried Levi jeans, they don't really fit me quite right either. I know. Hug me in all the right places. They're really high waisted. They're yeah, like, they're just a good pair of jeans. And they just go into like a straight leg boyfriend style. But the good thing is they don't fray at the bottom. I was looking for a pair of straight leg jeans that don't fray. And I just fell in love with the wash of these. They also do them in like black, a lighter wash that I'm definitely going to get and a darker wash. And I've worn them so much since I got them. If you're into your denim, I just feel like you need to try these because they're like my new babies. This was actually the other end of spectrum because this was a splurge. You guys know I'm the blazer queen because I get to wear them in my normal job. And then I also wear them just day day to day and I got this blazer from again Zara and I've actually got comments from like customers about this and they're just like oh I love your blazer and I don't know I sometimes like I find I get like certain things and like a talking point and this is I think one of them I don't know why I kind of almost wish they had some kind of like matching bottom that wasn't in your face like in a brown or a camel I would so so go for that so I loved this. I don't normally go to like YouTube like vlogger events that much because I am working and they're normally in like weekdays especially but I saw this set and I fell in love with it and this shirt from Zara and you guys can see it's got white stitching all around it and that's kind of what I fell in love with it is that it's so super simple. It wasn't cheap by any means, it was £40 but again it's one of those items that I know I'm going to get my wear out of and it's actually funny enough it's one of those things that I would like be inclined to wear on a date because it's like black but it's still got a bit of interest to it, it's a shirt so it's a bit like dressy so I just thought okay this is definitely going to be like something that I can incorporate into my life and um, yeah I love 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 this but I also got to match with it matching trousers that the model wears on the site but the good thing is these are the kind of things that I would definitely wear like separately so I don't have to wear the trousers with the top and vice versa like I can just definitely interchange and they just tie up the waist, they've just got pockets on the back and they come down into a wide leg and I've tried them on with trainers and they look really cool and I like that kind of thing because I can wear it like I said like day to day but I can also wear them a bit smarter and if you watch Sam's vlog which I'm sure most of you guys like who follow me definitely follow her beauty crush 
um, or Samantha Maria. I know her as Beauty Crush because I like I'm from the old school days. That's kind of why I've always been in two minds about changing my channel name, but I'm just like. I don't know, like, as cheesy as it is, and like, as much as I probably don't like it, and, um, it's funny, it's just because I, I don't know, I'm a bit nostalgic about it, but, yeah, anyway, she and I both had these bags, and um, when I went to meet her in Westfield, we went shopping in Westfield, I was wearing it, and she was like, where is it from? And I was like, it's from here, and then she was like, I might get it as well, and I was like, yeah, go for it. You know how when you're friends with someone, you end up always having the same stuff? I'm like that, and, um, I, it doesn't bother me at all. I love this bag. I think more people need it. Even when we were like walking around, another girl asked me where it's from. And it's just super cute. It has a chain, so it's really practical. But I love these kind of things, um, not just for like day to day, but also for nights out. Because you just kind of hold it like this. It's really cute, but you can also put it through your arms if you're dancing. It's just a really easy piece. And it holds a lot of room as well. And I've actually been walking around London with it. And I think that's why I've scuffed it. So I'm just going to put some black nail polish on it, I think. And um, that's why I have a tube map in here. So yeah, it's just really sweet. And I think it can't have been more than about £30. So if you're in need of a new bag, like a cute like novelty. This isn't really novelty, but it looks like vintage bag. Then this is probably one to go for. They also do other really cute ones. And I did get another one, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it. So I wasn't going to show it to you guys, but... Um, yeah, they're really cute. Then I also got these, and guys, honestly, like Zara's killing it in their sunglasses department. Look at these, like, cases. These are not even to buy, they come with the sunglasses, and the sunglasses are £15.99. I would totally buy these sunglasses cases just to keep my sunglasses in any way, but they're gorgeous. They have, like, a suede lining inside, and they just feel really nice, and they even come with, like, another little bag thing for the sunglasses and it also feels like you could like totally wipe your sunglasses with it so yeah like well done Zara like I love these and I got these two pairs of sunnies which I know it's not really weather for sunglasses but I was like okay I need these so first one I got is these like tortoise shell acetate I think that's how you say it sunnies and I love them I feel like I don't know if I should get the black because I already have a black pair that's similar but I love them like literally love and I do feel like tortoise shell sunglasses do kind of soften around your face a little bit more as opposed to black. And then I did get some black kind of like matrix style ones. These are these. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do I look ridiculous? Like do I look like a wannabe matrix um, cast member? Or can I pull them off? So you guys will have to tell me down below. But yeah, $15.99 guys. Like seriously for sunnies. And then I wanted to show you guys a pair of shoes. I'm calling these like my Kate Moss boots because I feel like back in the day on YouTube everyone used to wear boots like this all the time and I'm sure people do but I haven't had a pair of like good old simple like one side zip boots with a good heel for walking, leather in a while and as soon as I saw these on, in Zara with Sam actually I was like oh Sam I've never seen these and then I was like oh they're really cool and I just got them. They were a bit more expensive, I think they were £70 which is like quite a lot but for boots I thought they're really good. They're super, super soft leather, like super, super soft. I walked around London in these for so long, like I was going from station to station to like place to place, like walking and walking, and only by like, I think like eight hours did my feet start to, well, they did ache a lot, but they, they, they were aching, but I think from walking. I will link some similar ones down below. It's a really good staple to have in your wardrobe, and I just haven't had some of these in a while. But that's my haul, you guys. I do hope you all enjoyed it. Do let me know which item was your favourite, and um, as always, I'll have everything linked down below. Let me know down below video ideas, because I'm always stuck on video ideas, and um, it's get, it always just gets really hard. So I hope you're all doing super duper well. I will see you all in my next video, and take care, guys. Love you. Bye.